All right. So in order to make the Batoon rocket, you just need a few things. Stylite, nasal cannula, 22 gauge IV, and some three inch tape and half inch tape and scissors. So to do this, it's pretty simple. I'm gonna see if I can keep this in the camera here. Uh, what you wanna do is create like a spray nozzle out of one of the ends of this uh, nasal cannula. So what you do, cut one end, and cut the other end short so you're left with just one like this. This might be a little long. I think it'll be all right. Then what you want to do is kink off uh, the short end here like this. So I'm gonna grab some tape. much. That's pretty good. Okay, so that end is kinked off. Um, just use it all here. So now you just have one end here to spray. Uh, then you take your IV, your 22 gauge IV, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna stick it in the line here, kind of like you're cannulating a vein. Just like that. Then you can take some more tape and just kind of secure that down. We're almost done actually. Um, this out of here. Well, next step is just to provide some rigidity for this. I'm, I'm thinking I might try to use this actually in a nasal intubation and see if I can pass this and atomize, you know, down the down the nose. But uh, if you're doing oral, putting a stylet on this is really handy to uh, kind of make it form to the posterior oropharynx and all that. So that's where some tape comes in. Actually, I don't like this tape. I'm going to get some other tape. Okay, because I'm actually going to, if I make this, I'm actually going to use it. Okay, so tear off a piece of tape, about the length, and then I'm just going to tear off a piece of it, and we're going to lay this down like this, stick this like Yeah, more or less. And then it's a little too long. It's a little shorter. Because you want this this part sticking out here, so you can have as much of this end out as you want, really. I don't know. To your preference, I guess. And then you just kinda roll it up here. That's pretty much it as far as that goes. So um, you can, you know, bend this kind of so you can get really deep, um, do sharp angles and stuff like that. It's pretty nice, you know. Uh, and then what I've discovered after using this for a while is uh, it's good to have a little extension on here. Let me show you how I set it up. So you'll drop your lidocaine however much you're going to use. 5% um, seems to be pretty good. And then you'll attach your extension onto this so it's like this. And so that way you have this hand free and you can use this hand to kind of, you know, hold it like this or however you want to kind of guide it and then this to inject. 
Um, what I do is on this end, I just hook it up to 15 liters uh, of oxygen. Um, and then in order to atomize, what you do is you just spray a little bit of this, like you just um, depress the syringe and, you know, it'll atomize as it comes out. So that's pretty much it. Uh, pretty simple device, but it works really well. I'm really happy. Some things that I found that works uh, with this is um, if you inhale while you're really posterior, you'll hit the cords and you'll go past the cords and hit the trachea too. And uh, I found that I've been anesthetized down the carina with this. So, uh, and I'd say I use about five cc's more or less, give or take now, um, but it takes some practice. So there it is.